Hello, and welcome to another exclusive video by the Blue Chem Group. My name is Luis Fernandez, International Sales Director for Blue Chem Group. And my name is Thomas Seemann. I'm the Head of Technician from the Blue Chem Group. Today we will be giving you an in-depth introduction into the latest generation automatic transmission service device, the ATF Evolution Plus. Now, we're going to start, first of all, by giving you uh, a little introduction into all of the unique features of the device starting with the main panel, or let's call it the command center. Uh, if you look closely, you will see uh, on the middle section two viewing glasses. Uh, these are called viewfinders. You have both for the new and used oil. This gives you the ability to be able to see in real time the quality of the old oil that's currently flowing through the transmission, as well as to see uh, the new oil being introduced. So you will see on opposite sides of the viewing glasses the pressure gauges. You will have one pressure gauge for the pressure coming from the transmission. Now this is a pressurized system so you do want to see pressure coming from the transmission going in and you want to see equal amount of pressure going out. Now one of the unique features of the ATF Evolution Plus device is that it is fully automated. It will regulate the pressure on its own without any kind of user interaction. Uh, right below the pressure gauges, you will see the built-in printer. Now this will give you a printout of all of the fluids that have been exchanged. So either for the service technician or for the workshop manager or for the end customer to see exactly what has been done. Now right below that, you will have your LCD uh, display. It's not a touch screen uh, for the simple fact of technicians have dirty hands. You don't want to be touching a display and then obscure your view. So for that reason, we do have a touchpad uh, right next to the LCD screen, which gives you a very simple user interface, easy to navigate, simple to use. Looking over the side profile of the device, you're gonna see some unique characteristics. Starting with the filters below, you're gonna see two filters. One is for the recirculation of the device. That means that when the transmission is hooked up and the pressure is flowing through the system, any contaminants, any sludge, or even metal filings will be trapped by the filter. That means that nothing, uh, no contaminants are being recirculated back in. Additionally, you also are gonna have a spare filter for all of the used oil going out. On top of that, you're gonna have a detergent bottle. Now this is uh, meant to be used with our exclusive line of ATF flush and ATF conditioner products, which is applied through the top. Down below, you're gonna have two windows for manual viewing. You can see exactly how much old oil is in the tank and how much fresh oil is in the tank. And now we move over to the other side of the device. You're going to have here your attachment hoses and you're gonna have your drain hose with valve. Now, moving your way to the back of the device, you will find here your intake for the fresh oil, what will go down into the tank. Additionally, you will have here your drawer compartment to access your bottles for the old and new oil. You're gonna have a holder here for your adapter set, and you have handles for rapidly being able to move and store the device. Okay, from the top view of the device, you're gonna have two compartments. One is the automatic transmission flush sink, adding your detergent inside. The other one is going to be your adapter oil sink. You can put your old oil inside or your adapters and everything will drain below. So now I've given you an introduction into the machine itself. We've talked about all of the unique features of the ATF Evolution Plus device. Behind me, I have the latest uh, Ford Mustang with a 10-speed automatic gearbox with torque converter. And we will be showing you in the next step a tutorial on how to do a proper connection, proper flush, and a proper ATF automatic oil transmission service. Okay, now that I've shown you the introduction into the ATF Evolution Plus itself, now we're ready to begin a proper automatic transmission service. So what you're gonna wanna do is, before the vehicle is up in the air, you're going to want to do a pre-service inspection. You wanna take the vehicle out for a test drive. You wanna check for any bumps, rattles, shakes, gear grinding, any mischiefs, and note that carefully. Additionally, you wanna check for any leaks underneath. You wanna make sure, uh, obviously, that there is no huge leakage because that can lead in the end to uh, not enough oil being in the system and problems with the device itself, which I will clarify on in a minute. 
So after all of the checks are done and everything has been verified, you can put the vehicle up in the air, you can unscrew the bottom compartment, and you can remove it. Uh, now that we've removed the underside tray, what we want to do is identify the connection points. This can either be on the transmission itself or located more towards the front where the intercooler would be. Once we've identified our connection point, we simply find the correct adapter and then we insert it into the opening. Uh, once the adapter has been inserted, then we can simply, using the quick connects on the device, properly connect the machine. Once the machine has been connected, we check for any oil leaks and then we can proceed to the next step. Now that we've secured our connection, we're almost ready to start the car. First thing we want to do is lower the driver's side window. As you know, some modern vehicles, you could get locked out if the vehicle is in motion. And in this case, we also want to verify that the car is off the ground and that the wheels are free because as we proceed to do the cleaning service, we're gonna put the vehicle into drive, the wheels will be spinning, so we wanna make sure we keep that area clean and clear. So once we proceed with that, we verify everything is correct, then we're ready to hop in the vehicle, we start, and then we look and verify just one more time that there's no leaks underneath the vehicle. Once we verified everything is secure, then we're ready to start with the flushing procedure. Now that we verified by starting the car that there is no leaks, everything is secured and fastened tightly, we verified on the device that there is equal pressure coming in, and we're ready now to proceed with the next step, which is the flushing process. We have two products that we can use. One of them is our ATF flush, the other is our ATF conditioner. The unique properties about the ATF flush, it contains no harmful acids or alcohol. It dissolves all of the contamination throughout the whole entire transmission. It's safe to use on all transmission types, including CVT, DCT, DSG, and also standard transmission with torque converter. So once we're ready to do, we apply it simply using the compartment above the automatic transmission device, and through the back of the device, we can also add our transmission oil, and then we can proceed to the next step. And now we're ready to begin with the first option, which is the flushing on the menu. You hit enter. Now it will ask you or prompt you to select how much fluid you've added inside for the detergent. You put 0.4 in this case, since the bottle is 375 ml, and now we're ready to start. As you can see, the machine automatically starts pumping in the detergent into the transmission, and now it goes through a phase of about 10 minutes where you're supposed to run the vehicle in drive and let it shift properly through all the gears. So, we've reached the most important part, which is now the exchange. We're getting ready to select then the second option on the menu, which is highlighted as exchange. We hit enter on the device. Now the device will ask us how many liters of oil we would like to exchange. In this case, we have 12 liters, which is the capacity inside of the transmission. We verified that by looking at the manufacturer's specifications. So in this case, since we want to guarantee that the oil will be pristine and clear, we exchange slightly more. In this case, let's put 15 liters. And before hitting enter, we have to verify that the vehicle is on. Again, we have pressure in the system. We hit enter and the machine will automatically start to exchange. You do not have to worry about overfilling or underfilling as what is being removed is also being replaced. So even if you exchange 15, 16, 17 liters, what will remain in the tank will always be the same. So let's get ready to start. Now we have successfully changed the automatic transmission fluid. Once we verified that the process is complete, we have a printout of how much oil has been exchanged, we can proceed to the next step. 
Now, typically, if you have a DSG or CVT transmission without an oil pan, then your process is complete. Since we have here a 10-speed gearbox with a torque converter, then we have to drain the contents inside the oil pan and change the filter inside. Very simple process. We proceed to the next menu option, which is adjust. We, we hit enter. We go to decrease since we want to remove oil from the oil pan. We go to enter. We put a theoretical amount. We know that there is at least 12 liters inside. So we do 15 in this case. Before hitting enter, we start the vehicle. We make sure that there's pressure and then we proceed with removing oil from the oil pan. Once you've removed all the contents of the oil pan, you will see that the viewing glass, there will start to be bubble formations and it will start to empty. At that time, you stop the process on the device and you turn off the vehicle. Then you're ready to proceed with the next step, which is the filter exchange. As you've seen, we've now successfully removed oil from the oil pan. We have unbolted it. We have changed the filter. We have uh, replaced any gaskets that have been worn out. We have torqued everything back to spec. And now we're ready to begin with the next step, which is adding the oil, what we removed, back into the pan. In this case, we've removed three liters of oil. So we will add those three liters back in. To add oil, we simply go to the adjust tab. We hit enter. We want to increase now instead of decrease because we want to add fresh oil inside. As you can see, we had 15 liters before. Now we have 18, which means we have removed three liters. We now put 03 to add three liters in and we hit enter. Now that we have finalized our service and everything is complete, we're ready for the final step, which is draining the contents of the device and preparing the device for the next oil change. We do that simply by going on the drain option here on the menu. We hit enter. Now it will ask us which tank we want to drain. You have two options. You can either drain the new or the old contents. In this case, we want to drain the old contents. So we simply scroll down to old. It will be the first option. And then we hit enter. There will be a prompt that will tell you the step on how to do it. That will be this hose here. There is a safety valve on it. We have to make sure, and it will tell you in the picture, to turn the safety valve on. And then we can simply drain it directly into the tank. As you've seen, we've successfully added the fresh oil back inside to the pan. Additionally, we've also checked the dipstick to make sure that the level is correct. And as you've seen, not only is the level correct, but the oil itself is now pristine and clean. So that means we have a fresh oil in a clean transmission. So if everything is now up to spec, we are now ready to disconnect the adapters in the reverse order that they were installed. We're ready to button everything back up, put the under tray, and then proceed in the next step, which is to perform a test drive. Once the test drive has been done and everything is up to spec, then we have finished successfully performing an automatic transmission change. We thank you very much for looking at the video and we hope to see you next time.